years. Then there's going to be a one term proposition. Buck stops with him. Angel Song and Mercury. Serving the truth lives here. Okay. Please told you, Miss Hill, Colorado Colorado professors, Ken Vickers and Michael Barry. Barry. They have a highly accurate highly electoral accurate college, college, college correction model. Correction model. Um, Using their using metrics, metrics, they were able to they retroactively to predict, predict every presidential, every presidential win, win since, 1980. since 1980. Oh my god. That was the place just said in the first place? I hope so. Anyway, it's me, Elish Music, America's Hope, Fox, Pop, Christian Conservative, and this is my, this is the final buzzing time factor video commentary thoughts for you know who. October 9th in the year 2012. I know it's a tourist Tuesday, because after Columbus Day is over with, I know. Christopher Columbus discovered America. Well, my. I have no clue whatsoever. But, anyways, um. <laughs> we get all the details, trust me about that, um, on Friday's video commentary thought season premiere. So, we're gonna have some fun on Friday. But right now, like I said, remember this. This, uh, Paula Kruger, PBS president. <laughs> trying to tell tell CNN the liberal uh, smashing Romneys in the face oh god what am I supposed to listen to this I want you to take a look and watch this before right before your very eyes and ears you just had to trust me about that uh, about that I want you to take a look at, and listen um, unbelievable to me that's how liberals work. Uh, this is what, one more time no, let's, let's just try this one more time See what you think. Uh, let's see what you think. Uh, let's take a look at this one more time. Uh, Paula Kroger. There's a serious issue here, and that is funding for PBS. Were you surprised that Mitt Romney brought up Big Bird? I, I, I was. I mean, with the enormous problems facing our country, the fact that we are the focus is just um, unbelievable to me. News flash, Paula. You haven't been missing, haven't you? Big Bird, President Obama, screaming at the top of his lungs, just today, today, just just for today. About, oh God, let me just find Newsbusters, find Fox News, and see what you. And you might think it's being so smart about. Political agenda? I don't, be don't believe this. I don't, don't believe it. Now, this is what happens. This is the latest uh, campaign ad. That's what he's speaking at a fundraiser in San Francisco. And I, I really don't believe this. I really don't believe this. this it says, Brenda Lala, the incumbent president who looks to set to reach $1 billion. And you always talk about Big Bird and all that. Ugh. Um, let, uh, let me let me just put this. Let me let me try this on for size. Here's a campaign ad. Deploys Big Bird in a new new campaign ad. Oh, I can't believe this. No, 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 no. It's from Associated Press. It says Mitt Romney. Campaign. Uh, no. Wait a minute. Barack Obama's President Obama campaign is trying to deploy Big Bird is in a new TV ad chiding Mitt Romney saying these things. Uh, things that he will end federal funding for public bro <laughs> public broadcasting. Okay, oh President Obama, you must be out of your darn mind. And this is the new sat sat satirical. It shows the the image. Of convicted financials, including Bernie Madoff and Enron's Kinley, and Romney suggested that Big Bird is behind all their crimes. 
Oh God, Prez Obama, you, you, you must be getting off the deep end. Prez Obama, you must be get, getting off the deep end. Why in the world you always say these things? These things. Because Mitt Romney says there's a hopeful, hopeful debate that he beat, beats your fight. President Obama, that you know who. That's right, Mitt Romney. It's gonna, it, that's why he will stop subsiding, subsiding um, you know who to PBS as a way to cut federal spending. And even pe even though he likes Big Bird and, well, we need anyone. But your stupid, but but your silly, stupid ad, try to poke the fun out of out of your life, at an assertion saying that Mitt Romney says that knows it, knows it isn't Wall Street. You need you need to worry about it's Sesame Street. So what? What does Sesame Street has to do with it? It has to do with kids. I watch Sesame Street. When I was a kid, and I was, when I was my age, age, and after this, my childhood days is over with. I'm not gonna watch Sesame Street. No, uh, no, because I know it's for kids. But anyways, so you talk about Sesame Street. Well, let me put this in writing for you. Republicans says that your silly ad that you are focusing is in, in, in quest consensual and it matters rather than the urgent issues about the the economy and the Middle East oh god president Obama you, you president president Obama you are so wrong as for Paul as for you Paula Kruger it could be be so very disastrous let me let me just tell you something How uh, how would you feel that your P P P B S stations, yeah P B S the independent liberal public public stations, are feeling the rise of it, of this one, the tip of the iceberg. P B S is <sighs> guess what? Here's the here's the issue. Fox News, Fox News beating your. Beating, beating your public station PBS has dominated the number one ratings against MSNBC, CNN, and so is PBS, and so is CBS News, ABC News, and NBC News combined. And that's why Fox News is the number one station in America. Trust me. So is the, so is the conservative radio and all that stuff. And now you're gonna, and now you're gonna trash Romney on purpose, <laughs> Paula Kruger. I'm ashamed of you. I'm definitely ashamed of you. Don't you think you owe Mitt Romney an apology? As I said on last fri Friday, Friday's Friday night on the Blaze TV, and it it fears me. All you uh, now, all you liberal mainstream media people out there, hope you're listening. Hello. Why can't you just pick somebody your own size? <laughs> if you do, if you do this one more time, I will trash you. That's right. ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN, MSNBC, and now PBS. The liberal, yeah. I don't get everybody's independent, but PBS, the independent liberal, uh, it's just too much. Big Bird, please. Trusting is everything, but who needs anyway? President Obama, please, and, 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 and ask for President Obama, please, get this silly ad out of here. It has nothing to do with Big Bird. God. You drive me nuts. Oh, God. Anyways. That's all, folks. Okay, now. 
before we adjourn this, this one, um, Uh, and this is what happens. And this is what happens. I, I, I get great comments. And Jerry Hughes, uh, Gerald Hughes, but he is, he is a talent cr recruiter for Fox News. And tell me that everyone has a vacancy open up very soon, and did I that he wants to he would he would love it if I would fill in that in vacancy for us instead if for interested. So what I'll do is I'll email Gerald at foxtalentjobs at gmail dot com. So, and I'll explain this on my on my Time Factor Radio show this weekend. And so is uh, this weekend. And so is my television show, as far, far as we're concerned, with musical guest Josh Stone, brand new season number seven, right here on Fox, late night. And I and I do want to say, Gerald, I I know that he, I I read a couple of times. And um, I know you, my this show is real. And then you try to get messaging me on another video of mine. Well, guess what, Gerald? I will explain this to you on my Time Factor Radio show this weekend. So just hold that thought. Don't don't I will email you one of these days. If it make it makes it hard for me. For this decision to to um, you know, I'll find out later on this weekend. Okay. Well, is that okay with you, Gerald Hughes? Yeah. I know he's a talented recruiter for Fox News. So, anyways, I can do it. I can do it. Next eight years. For the next eight years. Because I got eight years to go. Trust me about that. I had to make this decision myself. <sighs> Thanks for the comments, Gerald Hughes. Just, if you want comments, just go online at youtube.com slash LH Music One and click on the inbox. Get comments from me and it'll, it'll, it'll be okay. Trust me about that. And the moral story is, PBS is, PBS is, is a is a liberal meta metaphor, and that's why the government out overreach is is gotta stop. Please, <sighs> trust me about that. Anyways, I gotta go. Make sure you Facebook me and follow me at facebook.com and twitter twitter.com. You know my username, LH Music Time, and. Check my website at a new homepage from jimdo.com, lhmusictimefactor.jimdo.com. So is Facebook page at for, for the LH Music Time Factor page on Facebook at facebook.com slash LH Music Time 2012. Trust me about that. Anyways, tomorrow, um, I don't know which topic I'm going to do. To it, but I will analyze this. Get a get a huge sneak preview of of this one. I'll let you all of you know that. I promise you. All right, trust me. Promise. You. Anyways, <laughs> LH Music America. So first of all, Christian conservative signing off. Go with God's blessings, and I'll see you tomorrow. And I'm out the door. And thank God the sun is trying to block my face. Can you see it? Good. I hope you do. I'm out. Signing off. This my.